I just want to quickly document uh, setting up a new project in Visual Studio and adding it to Git on um, Azure DevOps. J just to document this, I don't know if this is the best practice. This is what works for me. I'm at, at this point, I'm basically a solo developer and I just want to create a backup of my projects and I'm using uh, Azure DevOps to do that and this is how I'm making that connection. I didn't find a video on YouTube specifically showing sort of a simple uh, sort of dumbed down way to do that but uh, here it is. So um, here I am creating a brand new project and we'll start here. I'm using a Blazor app but I imagine this would work for any. I'm going to call it Git Test okay so here I am in a new project and I am going to go into one of my pages and just add some random text and okay now I've made a change and then I'm going to go down to add to source control oh actually I'm not going to do that yet hang on I am going to go to Azure DevOps and this is my page in Azure DevOps and I am going to click on new project and I'm going to call it git test 3. I don't think the name has to match, but why not? I'm going to click create. I now have a project called git test 3. If I go to repos, uh, you can see this URL here. Um, this works and also this URL works for what I'm about to do. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and copy this one under clone your computer again, but this URL up here worked as well when I tried it. So I've just copied that URL. Now I'm going to go back to Visual Studio and I'm going to go to add the source control, Git, and it defaults to GitHub, but I don't want that. I want to use an existing remote and I'm going to paste my URL right here and I'm going to create and push. So I want to save my changes. And it completed. And if I now go to my git, there we go. Um, if I go here, then um, if I go into repos, there it is. There's my project. And I go from there. Thank you.